What's up guys? It's King Daddy D Mac and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We're on the vanilla server. As you can see, there's my base in the background, way back over there. I'm on one of the deserts. And today is April 1st. That's right. Also known as April Fool's Day. Oh, I can't believe there's probably so many troll videos coming out today. And you know, I don't I don't really condorse any trolley behavior, and I don't really want to be a part of it. So, you know, I thought maybe today instead we could just have a little bit of fun. Yeah, you know, just mess around with stuff that we don't normally get to. Shit, anyway, let's hop around. Ooh, cool. Look at there's a temple over there. Anyway, TNT cannons, one of my favorite things. Such a cool thing in the game. And I thought it would be fun to maybe just experiment with some and kind of, you know, try out different designs. This is the design that I had always used ever since I started playing Minecraft. Really old, really simple. More or less does the job. Boom! <laughs> it's so much fun. But anyway, why don't, why don't we go around, get a little bit of new scenery at different places. In the map and um yeah just play around with some tnt cannons what do you say nothing trolly nothing at all just normal normal stuff all right guys so something i was a little curious about i've never done a tnt cannon in the nether i'm kind of curious if it's possible so i set up the same style one that we just had done the one i'm comfortable with let's go ahead and try this and i put half slabs in the bottom instead of water and i'm curious to see if it'll work Let's put a bunch of these on a little bit of a delay. Not too much of a delay. Let's light it up. Oh, we're going to need a block to stand on to get back over. All right, let's see if this works without having any lava. Nothing trolly, just true experimentation. Very interesting. Very interesting. It does work. All right, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. It did blow up the cannon. Hmm. It did blow up the cannon. I don't know what to say. I mean, is there a way to do it proper? I wonder if you could do it with the lava. Huh. You might be able to. I don't know. Is that something we should experiment with? Maybe? I don't know, guys. I mean, this is what we're here for, is true experimentation. Whoa. Man should make that train a little bit safer. All right, well, we were able to make the cannon work. We just weren't able to do it without destroying the cannon, but that's not a big deal. So anyway, why don't we go experiment with a couple other types of designs over, maybe we can go since we're here at the new Hermit Town. What do you say? Or the old Hermit Town first. All right, here we are at the old hermit town, and I think we're gonna we're gonna experiment over here by Monkey Farm because I know he's always one for you know new Minecraft science and stuff like that. He'd definitely be into it. So looks like he gave Scully a new look too, huh? I like it. It's pretty cool. Interesting block to use. Interesting choice. Anywho, why don't we pillar up here? And let's see how we can do for like ah, oh, jeez, darn it get rid of that so we can do for accuracy over here let's see should we go with accuracy or should we go for compactness of a cannon maybe i don't know i haven't decided yet let me get a platform set up let's see let's see what we decide to do all right you know what let's let's try and go for accuracy this time let's try and see if we can hit it right smack in between the eyes let's see if that's a possibility you know all in the name of science so let's put our water out and let's do our redstone on this side. Still going with my older school design. And then I think next we can go for, for making a smaller cannon. Look at some other designs of it. All right, let's get a little bit of delay on there. This may take a couple of tries of adjusting. But it's a fairly long cannon. Usually it seems like the longer, at least in, when I've done this the longer that you made them the better accuracy they had but that that could maybe not be the case still all right so let's see here let's 
throw on our button. Boom. Will this, will this work? I might have to put it. All right. So, don't see what happens. Oh. All right. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Let's try this again. Huh. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I must have, maybe I put the two redstone there. Whoa. What's going on with you, buddy? All right. Let's try this again. In the name of science. All right. Interesting. You know, guys, I think we hit it dead on. We're a little bit high, though. We're a little bit high. But other than that, I, I think that it was a good experiment overall. Very good. All right. Well, maybe next. Whoa. What happened over there? Did it explode all the way to over there? Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I think next we should start to experiment. I'm making smaller cannons because this is quite big and it takes a little bit a, a decent amount of time to make so let me gather up all my materials and let's head on over to New Hermiton this time you know real quick before we leave um, this is Joe's Joe's uh, what's this called his eye museum his pixel pixel art eye museum and I was thinking you know he hasn't been on in a while but kind of a good idea maybe he could make it like a little bit more interactive with the people going to see his museum. So you could like go up to it and say, okay, this is the frog from Chrono Trigger. Oh, look at this button. What would happen if we click this button? Or this one? You know, I think that makes for just a little bit more interesting of a user experience. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I definitely like it. Just have buttons and click them like that and then you can actually interact with the art. It's not bad. I'll have to remember to tell Joe. All right, so why don't we try for a little bit more of a compact design? I was searching through YouTube. Hello, mister. Who, who is this down here? Whoa. What's your name? Who, what's this horse's name? Is this horse even have a name? Hmm. Oh, and I lost all my ender pearls when I died. Oh, you know, I blame that on you, horsey. I'm sorry, but you're really making me mad. So I'm going to leave you a little present. What do you say? You like presents, horsey? You like presents? Here, you can have a present. There you go. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Very yummy present. Okay. So, back to back to, to work. Let's... Can we get this this out of here, please? We need We need a little space. Does this burn away? Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, hopefully this hurries up so that we can get a little bit of space to work. Okay, good enough, you're taking too long. Uh, there we go, much better, much better. Okay, so for this design, this is from Seth Bling. And it was very interesting. Um, believe all it is is a fence post right there there one spot open and then we do a fence post here then i believe it just goes like this this and this then we're going to take dispensers there's going to be one there one there one there one there so that's pretty simple and then i think you just put a button right there maybe mm. All right, now I think I got it. It goes down after one in, one down, then the fence post. Then we add in the water here. Cool, and then it stops it. And hopefully this still works. The fence post is a little bit above. See how, that's how the player goes up a little bit? So it helps for the tra trajectory of the TNT. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's throw some TNT here and I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it in all of them or just one of them but we'll put a little bit in all of them see how that works and then let's put a bunch in here let's put a button on here 
And then with this one, it takes a little bit more manual work. You gotta hit this first, wait a few seconds, then you hit that one. Oh, that works pretty well. I almost died there, but that works pretty well. And it didn't blow up. All right, let's, let's try this again. All right. Not bad. It's pretty compact. Let's see if we can actually make a, a hole through his wall. Oh, which one is it using? This one will launch it early. Ooh. All right, we're getting somewhere. I love TNT cannons. They are so cool. Ah, oh, what a wimpy one. All right, let's do it again where we give it a little bit. Oh, are we out? Are we out? I thought I put more than that in there. Oh, well. I wonder, can we... Oh, maybe it's because it does launch them all out. So you need some in each, maybe? Does that sound about right? Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, well, enough with that one. But I thought that was pretty cool, pretty compact. Very impressive, very nice. You know, I'm so jelly of you and your cars. I don't think it's fair you get a car like this. What the heck, Corrales? I'm gonna set one right. All right, there. Always showing off with all your nice stuff. What the heck? Well, this is what I have to say about your nice stuff. Sorry, couldn't help myself. I know I said I wouldn't troll this episode. <laughs> awesome! Did you hear the sound that the anvil made? When <laughs> Almost just because it dropped. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Showing off your fancy cars. Park them in the garage, buddy. Park them in the garage. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Come here, Mr. Creeper. Come here. This way. This way. Yeah, I got a fun game for you. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so stupid. Come this way. Come this way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right over here. Right over here. Uh-huh. You're doing good. Doing good. No, nope, over here. Over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right down here. Right down here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Mr. Creeper? All right. So let's go. Let's try another design. Be right back. Hey, look it. You can see down into Biffa's. Is that his dog? Is that Huey or Dewey? I never know which one's which. Hey, let's try and get his attention. Which one are you? Oops. <laughs> I guess he's the dead one. Er. I'll tell you what I think about Abigail winnings. You guys can eat it. How dare you not let me win? I'm gonna blow up all of his stuff. Yeah, that's what I think of your Abigail winnings, huh? Let's get this stuff real blown up so he can't have it. That's right, you jerks. <laughs> Nice racetrack, Zoom Avoid. How fast does it go if you use a TNT horse, huh? <laughs> what do you think of that? Mm-hmm. That's what I think about that. Hmm. You know, I'm curious. I wonder if you could make, a, like, a really compact, really compact one. Like, what if, what if I just went like this? Can I just go, maybe do like one like this and then just, just light it like, I'll light this one first and then I'll light these two after like that. Will that shoot them? Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a super compact one. Did I come up with something? Oh, I'm so genius. Look at that. Whoa. What are you doing here? Hmm. So I'm guessing, oh, what if I did one like this, where, where I just went like this, 
Oh, oh, dumb crafting tables. All right, so then I'd light like this one and then I light all these. Oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was pretty successful. I think that was some pretty good science right there. Definitely some good science, wouldn't you say? Don't you think? Good science? <laughs> All right, one more cannon, and then I think we're going to wrap things up. All right, this is the final one. I want to try this out. I found a nice, safe place where nobody can get us. It's not a big deal. We can just mess around. This is going to be the door cannon. So hopefully the door cannon works. Let's see. Oh, I hope it's not going to be a problem. So we can't set doors in there. All right, maybe we'll just have to do a small door cannon. Maybe, maybe, yeah. We'll just try a small door cannon. All right, let's see here. So if we go like this, maybe... No, we're out to knock out that one. Oh, dang it. All right, we're going to have to set another door cannon. We'll do the door cannon here. There, there. There, and there. And we can set... All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then we can just go along like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work great. And we can just go, like, along like this. And like that. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. And then, oh, no, we need a flint and steel. Ah, I always forget something. All right, here's the door cannon. I, I can't be bothered right now to do the redstone for it. So let's just do it. Let's... Way. Oh, bad way, bad way, bad way to do it. Oh, well, the door cannon's a fail, unfortunately. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed our science. And I'm really happy that we got through this without doing something fully jokey, trolly. We actually got something productive done in the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to check out the link. I'm going to leave a link to the next Hermit's video. So make sure to go check out theirs next. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment about what you think. Any other suggestions about our TNT Canon science? Any other good ones I should look at? And let me know what other hermits, who are your favorite hermits videos that came out today? So make sure to check out those links. Watch every hermits video. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. And, yeah, till next time. Peace out.